Assalamu alaikum. My name is Umme Habiba Marjan. Today I'll be presenting on the classification of trilobite, the features used classification scheme and the development of classification. Now I'll start with a short introduction of trilobite. The trilobites are an ancient extinct class of arthropods which were all marine. In the present day they exist only as fossils. The trilobite first appeared in the early Cambrian and became extinct by the end of the Permian and they have lived all over the world. Up next is the classification system of trilobites and its development. The trilobites belong to a widely diverse class of arthropoda and more than about 15,000 species of trilobites have been discovered so far. Each species exhibits, exhibit variations in their morphological features, shape and size to a great extent, so it is very difficult to classify the trilobites in a simple classification scheme. Moreover, it is assumed that there are a large number of undiscovered trilobite fossils, which is why the classification of trilobites within the arthropoda has generated much controversy, most of which is still completely unresolved. Based on now, based on the similarity of their features, like the morphological and anatomical features and their evolutionary traits, trilobites are classified into a systematic order. The higher level of classification of trilobites is quite simple be uh, because any of their identifying features does not dominate in such type of classification. On the other hand, the lower level of classification is much complex and has been determined on the basis of the variations found in their identifying features. And up next is the classification of trilobites on the basis of their features. Uh, so for classifying the trilobites, the most prominent features that are required are the shape and orientation of facial uh, sutures in the cephalon with respect to the general angle, the shape of the glabella, the pattern of lobation, the evolution of their eyes, uh, the thoracic features, the number of thoracic segments and, the, uh, and its nature of segmentation, the shape of the pygidium, spinocity, their shared ontogeny, and the condition of the hypostomata. Ten major orders of trilobites are recognized based on the domination of their features and characters. Under these ten major orders, around 150 families, 5,000 genera, and almost about 20,000 species of trilobites have been discovered so far. Up next is the classification of trilobites. The trilobites belong to the kingdom Animalia and the, uh, under the phylum Arthropoda. They belong to the class trilobita of the phylum Arthropoda. The class trilobita have been divided into 10 major orders. The 10 major orders are Agnostida, Redilichida, Corinexochida, Lichida, Odontoplurida, Phacopida, Tycoparida, Asifida, Proetida, and Harpidida. Here in this table, we can see a systematic classification of the class trilobita. Since we know the class trilobita is divided into 10 major orders, here we can see that the 10 major orders have been subdivided into suborders, and these suborders have been far, uh, further subdivided into some uh, superfamilies. Up next is the trilobite classification schemes. Since the naming of trilobite class by Walsh in 1771, the classification of trilobites has had a complicated history. In the past, since a discovery of a particular anatomical or functional features in trilobite was found, or a new trilobite fossil was found, these had, these had led to attempts at classifying the trilobites based on their uh, features. And the classification scheme was done, which reflected their, uh, their phylogeny and evolution in a consistent manner. Here in this table, we can see four major trilobite classification schemes. The first scheme was done by Swinerton in 1915. The classification scheme done by Swinerton in 1915 was largely focused on using the pattern of facial sutures to diagnose the orders and the subdivision. 
second scheme was done by Harrington in 1959. Harrington here provided a history of various major classification schemes that has been erected since the early 1800s. And the third one was proposed by Forte in 1997. Forte, in a similar vein to Harrington, summarized the trilobite classification and presented them in a revised scheme in which he expanded the order Nexuchida into uh, some suborders. And the last scheme was done by Adrian in 2011. Adrian compiled a list of all known genera and the families and made a considerable modification to the 40s scheme, particularly in the regard of the number of recognized families and superfamilies. And that will be all. Thank you. Thank you.